But you know, see, me personally, I just think out of the whole situation, you know Miles is the best, but there's, you know, just a lot more important things in the world, like uh, the NBA draft lottery is rigged. I mean, personally, I'm on, um, I'm on Lil Wayne's side. Lil, I'm Littler Wayne. What's up, everyone? Today is Friday, May 10th. And we're here to bring you another episode of TV West. What are we starting off today with, Eli? We're kicking off with Sports Machine. Let's go. Hello, guys. Today we are here at the BYU track meet. Okay guys, today we're here with the one, the only, Levi. <laughs> Levi, do you have any words for TV West? No. No words? Why are you here in this track meet if you're not even running any event? Because I'm a good team member and I support my team. He's the greatest team member, the greatest. Okay, today we're here with... You know what I'm saying, Big P, fill up, you know what I'm saying, fill okay, up the okay, Don, okay. fill up the gut face at. Yes, sir. Hey, what, what are you about to, what are you about to do, fill up? What are you about to do? Oh, I got long jumps today, bro. We've been here since 5 a.m., bro. I've been waiting, I've been waiting, but it's time. I'm finna go warm up right now, jumping a 20 today, bro. 20? 20? 20? 20. For real? 20. Rolling. Okay, fill up, how'd, how'd long jump go? So, so story, <laughs> a, little, so, a little short story, um, while doing that interview, I was actually supposed to jump. So, <laughs> so I only got one jump and I scratched, guys. I scratched, I failed y'all, I'm so sorry. But we still got regionals and state coming up. I'll be back right here at state. Yes, sir. Right here, right here. Remember this place, right here. All right, we're here with the West High Hurdle crew. It's with me, Jesus. Alpha. Lucenny. And we just ran the 110 hurdles. Alpha, how did the 110 go for you? It went pretty good, got a PR. Pretty good, you got a PR, you yeah, sure, bro? PR. Yeah, for sure? Yeah. Okay, today we're here with? Talia. Talia, what events did you just run today? <laughs> I just ran the 32. Okay, so walk us through your race. How did it feel? Okay, so the first, like, five laps were pretty good. Uh, seventh lap, I hit lactic, which is just, like, where everything feels like a block. And then I was able to push through it in the last hundred, so we're good. Yeah. All right, our next track star that we're interviewing is? Mac. Okay, Mac, what event did you just run? I just ran the 100 meter dash. And how did that go? Can you tell us a bit about what happened and how did it go? Um, I was pretty nervous because it's the biggest invitational I've been to so far, but it went pretty well. I PR'd, so. Wow, that's a big improvement. Okay, that's it for this interview. Uh, I'll give you a hint about what's up next. Um, last name White, star of a great TV show. Larry. No, it's Walter. Let's, go, let's go to Walter. Larry King. What? Legend. What is up, my Walter watchers? Today we have a very special guest for the show today. We had to pay a lot of money for him to be here. Today we're gonna rank the top five corners in West High. First off, we gotta head to the TV West room. We're just there. This is our TV West corner. It has a couple blemishes from over the years. It's a very age-old institution. It's barely uh, a corner. However, we have some modern technology. And uh, for that, it's our fifth place it's corner. It's not a corner, it's curved. Look, right here. Oh, that corner. part's the corner. Yeah, it's a highly decorated corner. Right here is our corner number four. As you can see, it has a picturesque landscape, city views, you can see the skyline. The uh, famed Utah skyline has actually been featured in Time Magazine and uh, several other small publications over the years. And uh, 
We also have complimentary dirt as well as glass shards. Now, this corner is actually quite representative of The Great Gatsby as well, because after my essay was destroyed in the unfortunate deletion of 2024, you can talk to your history teacher about it, uh, I was like falling off a cliff and it really reminded me of that. It's interpretive. This is our second corner. You see, when we were first touring, you know, I had to make this list beforehand and it was somewhat of a chillier day than it is today, but it's still quite nice. See, the heat radiates off of the bricks of the school building and it's almost like an oven to bake your joy and uh, appreciation of the outdoors. This corner has a keeper, one of the most dastardly protectors of the high seas. Could you guess? Dr. Jared Wright? Not Dr. Jared Wright. Jared is the principal, he's not a pirate. I don't have any other guesses. <laughs> Good ambiance. It's well, diegetic. Now can you guess the uh, the keeper of this fine corner? Jared Wright. <laughs> <laughs> we would like to thank Miss King for allowing us to tour her corner today and we'll move on with it quickly. Favorite corner in the world. Here we are. The fabled corner of champions and pirates. We rate it number one because of its uh, wonderful decorations. It's really uh, a piece of art and it has a lot of history here at the school as well as the history of our students. <laughs> I'm frankly at a loss for words at this quarter. It's inspiring, amazing, beautiful. I could stand here for hours. Just wanted to say I'm so sorry for your loss. You know what isn't lost? This week's episode of Panther in the Hall. <laughs> Hi there, West High. This is Panther in the Hall. Uh, what's your name? Michael. Marco. Uh, Cece. Andrea. Noemi. Ashton. Francisco. Elijah. If every teacher was dropping a Fortnite, who would win? Mm, probably Mr. Rodeba. Why is that? Because he's the woodworking teacher. He's a gamer that builds. Ooh, wait, that's smart, right? Mm, I'd say Mr. Butler. He has the strats. The strats? Yeah, he has the strats. Uh, I think Mr. Packer could have like the most experience. Is he a gamer? Uh, no, I don't think so, but he probably got like some military experience. Good, okay, good, good. Mr. Packer. Why is that? He's built different like that. What teacher would you team up with in the case of a zombie apocalypse? A zombie apocalypse? Probably the JROTC teacher. I, that's smart. That's smart. I get. I feel like with Stacy. Who's that? Uh, she's a theater director. Ooh, you think she, uh, but you need a scientist. You need to cure the zombie. Well, I feel like, I feel like, uh, she's brute force enough. She's gonna deal with them? Okay, okay. Um, Ms. Hopkins, like, I think she's always prepared for everything. Well, why is no one choosing a scientist, correct? Right? Mr. Blodgett. Not. Because, uh, I felt like he could infiltrate them. Miss Hoppus. Yeah. Why is that? She's cool. Miss Lauda. Again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Miss Hop. Miss Hop. Miss Hop? Yeah. She'd save you? She saved me. From what? The zombies? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Bro, is she gonna, like, we're gonna jump out the window and, like, fly together like little birds? If you teacher, if you got arrested, what teacher would you call? Probably Mr. Hagelin. I don't know if he goes anymore. Which one? The old one? The old one. The old one? Probably Miss Packer. Why Miss Packer? Because she chill. She is the homie, no lie, no lie. I'm Miss Stacey. She's like a second mother to me. So all, that's all. Thank you, Westside. That was Panther in the Hall. Next up, we have Live Slop. <laughs> Such whimsy. <laughs> Oh, good morning, Wes, and welcome to this new and uh, hopefully upcoming series, The Live Swap, where we share nothing but news where no one would probably care. And today's news, and for our 
beginning of the, sh the series, uh, where we talk about the brand new show and upcoming, no, upcoming, uh, you know, the new show, Fallout. Fallout has mixed reviews right now. You're good, bad, or somewhere in between. But from what I'm seeing right now, somewhere around above high, don't know. The, the MB, MIBD, probably high. Rotten Tomatoes, I don't know if that's for it. I don't know if Rotten Tomatoes does that. Either, either so, either way. Okay. Next up, we have all six hours of the Dune movies. Including the David Lynch one? Yes. What about the 2000s one? No, not that one. That's, that's probably for the best. Probably. Now, actually, next up, we've got teachers that us, TV West, appreciates. And it's not you. Who do you appreciate? I would probably say... Shout out to Miss Godar, shout out to Miss Whitlock, shout out to Mr. Baca, shout out to Miss Thurwell, especially shout out to Frau Barnard, shout out to Miss Twiggs, uh, maybe shout out to Mr. Baca, and then. You already said him. What? You already said him. Awkward! I'd have to say uh, Winton from Bluey. <laughs> Who's Winton from Bluey? Uh, put him up on the screen. Wimbledon? Right now. Wimbledon. Yeah. Winton. <laughs> teacher I appreciate is Enrique. He was there for me a lot in my seventh grade year. He helped me kind of get through it. The number one teacher that I appreciate most is Miss Naboa and Miss Bernard because they helped me a lot with my school and sometimes my grades are really really bad and they always check up on me on that and they always push me and give me solutions so that's why I appreciate them and they're really chill. They're really really chill. The teacher I appreciate the most probably gotta be Mr. B uh, actually no, it'd probably be Miss Twiggs, a uh, great AP teacher. Oh, hey there. Well, I'd like to shout out Mr. Smith. His mustache is incredibly luscious, and it's inspiring to many of his students. Even you, because you don't have it. Mr. Baca, we don't talk about that. Uh, Miss Godard, she's a great psych teacher as well. Miss Bulesen for being a great mentor for the robotics team. Okay. I gotta go with Miss Whitlock. Uh, Mr. Ba, uh, and then I probably have to go with, uh, I really appreciate Miss Paul because they, well, she is, she is the ASL teacher and she's the, she does all the ASL stuff at the school and she's really nice and she's really good at all of that and she's good at teaching it. Mr. Harmstead is a great language arts teacher. Um, what other teachers do I have? Can't think of any. I think I'd put Terry King on the list. She's my A-Push teacher, and she puts in a ton of work. She has a ton of materials available for the whole class. And maybe I don't do all the work at the time I'm supposed to, but she, she leaves it all open, like, until the end of the term. So uh, she's really nice. She actually understands what students need, and she's just super caring. Miss Basement? Because it, because her class seems easy and fun, that... I think that most of the time I'm in that class, it was like most relaxing. Just, you know, be there, study, and actually follow what she was talking about. It seems like the most easiest class I even have. And Ms. Thurwell, Frau Barnard, she's a great German teacher. It's seven. It's the eighth one. Miss Bulesen, because she lets us do whatever we want. I appreciate Pickle. Mixed Pickle. Pickle's very chill. He's here, I appreciate part of the major character because he's taught me a lot about being more brave and more confident and it helps me um, with anything I need. Well guys, uh, well, well, that was the May, that was the May 10th episode of TV West. We hope you enjoyed and stay classy, West High. Any parting words? When you are in the service of your fellow beings, you are only in the service of your God. Now that's pretty Sigma.